keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're gonna talk about how to make a slash first shot creator, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, as like of the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note game for my daily uploads. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so first and foremost, you have to be a power forward or center at this position, but once again, this is gonna be more of a small forward type build. This ain't a center build at all. I'm gonna repeat, this ain't a center build. We're literally making a small forward at the power forward position because we wanna get the name. It's almost like Kawhi Leonard playing power forward, right? We know he's not a power forward, right? But he's just, that's just how the, you know their lineup is made. Same thing for Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum's a power forward. Um, he plays a power forward, but we all know he's more of a shooting, uh, small forward shooting guard. Same thing for um, Kawhi Leonard, small forward shooting guard types, but we're gonna go at the power forward for the name, 6'7", 220 with a 6'8", wingspan, all right? Now, um, we are gonna go 80 speed. I feel like this is just a requirement um, for most builds. You just gotta have the 80 speed and then just make sure you get Eubanks as your uh, motion style and you're gonna be moving really well, okay? Um, on, on our agility, we're basically going just enough to be able to get on ball minutes and whatever we need for the badges. We're going 71 on the agility. This isn't a lockdown build. This is a slashing. This is a more of an offensive type scoring build, okay? We're gonna go 75 on the strength and then we're gonna go 79 on the vert and we will be using the cat breaker um, to be able to get one of our five cat breakers on this two to get it to 80, okay? Um, now, when it comes to the finishing, on the finishing aspect, we are gonna go 82 on the close shot, okay? 82 on that close shot and then we're gonna go 92 on the driving layup. Um, again, this is just so we can keep the name. So for some reason, 92 is what kind of triggers it. So if you go below 92, it will change the name. But the good thing is you're able to get every single layup package here. You get physical finisher on gold. You get float game on gold, area wizard on gold. All this stuff is just off that 92 layup. It's a high, it's high, but at the end of the day, it's still gonna be something that's really dope, okay? Now, we're gonna go 89 on our driving dunk. Now, we just talked about going that vert to 80 using one cap breaker. Then we're gonna use the other four cap breakers here to be able to get that driving dunk on 93 to get gold posterizer. So by using your five cat breakers, once you hit starter three, you have a 93 driving dunk and an 80 vert. And that will go ahead and make this build a really, really, really crazy finishing build. That means you have a 93 driving dunk with a 92 driving layup. And as you're gonna see, by doing those things, you will be able to have a ton of great badges, okay? Now we're gonna go 40 on the standing dunk to get those basic two hand standing dunks. Um, 45 gives you the one hand, and the one hand ain't really cooking this year, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You wanna just go 40. So if even if you go 45, don't even equip the 45. Just equip the 40, the basic two hands, because those are the ones that actually are gonna trigger and do well. Um, then on our shooting, you will go 89 on our mid-range. Um, the 89 mid-range will give you the set shot specialist. Now, I will say this. If you wanted to add the, the, the five here, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, I'll give you a 94. That means you'll get set shot specialist on Hall of Fame. You also will get dead eye on gold. Let's just see what you can get. So, oops. Um, dead eye. You'll be able to get dead eye on gold. You also will be able to get set shot specialist. It looks like with the 72, you have to have a 72 agility to get this one. So you could do that also um, if you wanted to, you know, move your mid range up higher. Um, I don't see nothing wrong with that. And then on your three-point shot, you are we are gonna go 83. This is just to be able to get our limitless range on bronze. So now you have the ability to shoot and finish at a very high rate. Then we're gonna go 84 on our free throw to be able to hit our shots if you're playing this, using this build in the rec, okay? So now you can see this is called a slash first, but it's funny because it also has called, it's called a slash first shot creator for a reason, because you have the ability to shoot and to slash. Now, the trigger to slashing part you have to get an 88 minimum, just like the build I dropped yesterday. You have to have 88 ball handle, the um, minimum to be able to get the name. So that's okay. You will be having, a, like I said, a good ability to be able to dribble at a high rate. 
Um, you will get that ankle assassin, the handles for days, and unpluckable on silver, and then you get that strong handle on gold, which is really gonna play a big part here because obviously you are six seven, you do have a really good ball handle, you're able to get a lot of good animations, but strong handle also helps again, as it says, reduces likelihood of being bothered by defenders when dribbling. Okay. And then on our pass accuracy, we're going just at 65. Again, this is the lowest you should go. And the reason, like, again, the people always say, some people will, if you know, you know, 65 is perfectly fine, okay? Um, you're a slasher, you're a primary ball handler, um, you're gonna be doing most of the scoring. You don't have to have the crazy passing ability. You do have to be aware that you don't have like a 78. So you are able, you have to be aware of that. You can't be going crazy on the passing, but regardless, this is gonna be more than enough for what you're gonna need, okay? Then when it comes to the defensive side, we're going 74 on our perimeter defense. And as you can see, that gives us our challenger, on ball menace, pick dodger, and a move enforcer. And then we're gonna go um, 60 on the steal. That is gonna give us our interceptor on bronze. So as you can tell, I'm trying to get as many bronze badges as possible to get our best bang for the buck. Same thing here, we're going 68 to get the high flyer denier. What I'm really big on, if you don't know, I'm about 2K. 2K is all about animation. So you have to at least have a 68 to get the chase down animation. Same thing here. You got to at least have a 60 to get the hands up animation to catch the ball. Okay. Same thing here. You got to at least have a 74 to get the on ball menace to be able to get people to pick the ball up. And same thing here with a move enforcer to cause those, the, those animations. Okay. We're going to go 60. Same thing here. We're going 60 just so we can get our rebound chaser on. Um, I mean, I saw our box out on bronze. Now we do have a little bit left over here. And what I wanted to do is get that, try to get this to an 84. I've been trying to, my hardest to try to find a way to get this close shot to an 84. And then as you can see, by going 79, we are able to do that. Now by going there, you see now we got Paint Prodigy on silver. So there we go. So now we got something we cooking with grease. So basically, as you can tell, there's so many different levels of this build to be able to finish really well. And then when we come over here, look at the, all the badges that you can get. You get shooting, you get finishing. There's so many good ones here. I don't even know which one I would say would be the best. Obviously, the drive, the, the driver with the driving dunk and ball handle with the 96, 97, that's gonna be a really good one. Slice is also gonna be a good one for the driving dunk speed and agility. But if I had to pick, it's gonna be driver. Um, and then my other one, is it smooth out the rape? No, 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 mixtape, mid-range, ball handle, nope. Is it finisher? Driving layup, driving dunk, vert. Feathery touch, close shot. Where's the one attacking? Driving layup, driving dunk, clinic, driving layup, mid. Here it is. Driving layup, mid range, and three point shot. So this is another one. The clinic is another one to, to, that's going to be really good just because it gives you this silky shooter badge. Easy to make perimeter shots off the dribble and boost the chance of ankle breakers. So you're looking for silky shooter. As you can tell, this right here, smooth operator, gives it to you also, which is driving layup, mid range shot, and ball handle. But I think that this one right here is going to be better because this gives you the mid-range shot and three-point shot all together so you can kind of fade in mid-range and stuff. Or if you want to go to Driver, which is this is the poster machine, ampl amplifies overall dunking ability and makes skilled dunks easier. So those are the, um, the options that I will look at. Um, but again, it's your build. You can make it any way you want or use whatever takeover out, um, avenue that you want. But the build does it all, and the name is absolutely insane. Extremely rare build. You're not going to see these on the court. And you already know Uncle Demi is the place to go if you want to be able to get rare builds. But let me know in the comment section what's thinking about the build. What would you change differently? But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the Banger Man. You know, when I say back soon on the Banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.